Hey, what's up everybody? It's Lids, and we're back for some more Pyre Community Right Night, which means, of course, some good old-fashioned multiplayer Pyre, featuring first and foremost none other than the members of the Right Club Discord server, the place for all things multiplayer Pyre. And if you're interested in getting more involved in multiplayer Pyre, then look no further, because you can join said Discord server by clicking on that link right there. For those of you in chat, you are not off the hook, no, 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 because you see the red circle with the white L below chat. Click on that, you'll find all the various requests you can make today, including things ranging from selecting players, exiles, mastery, songs, arenas, even titan stars, are all fair game. So, without further ado, let's hop into versus mode here, we'll just set ourselves back to our defaults real quick. Looks good. I will jump into said discord server and then i think we will be good to go so let me know if there's anyone who would like to get us started today or for that matter if there's anything we'd like to set up for our first match it is of course mother's day happy mother's day to you all hope you had some time to uh celebrate with the family what have you get a, a slightly later start than usual i suppose for that reason as i was a uh, rushing back in order to uh, get the stream started up. But let me know if there's anyone who would like to get us started here. Faylor will jump in. Let me get you the invite then, Failure. There you are. Invite should be sent. How's everyone doing this fine afternoon? Doing all right. How are you? Doing good. Nice. Looks like a Nor can take the second spot. A Nor, no one else has claimed it yet, so it is yours for the taking. All right. Invite, I think, just sent. Hold on. Did it? Yeah. Theoretically. And now that it seems as though we have our two players in here let us know chat if there's anything you would like to see for the first match of the day between Faylor and Anor and Faylor and Anor if you two could just confirm who is player one and who is player two looks like Anor player one Faylor player two I take that I think to that me. does it okay nice let me just set you up then Anor is over here. We have Failer is over here. Some Fate. Some Nightwings. There we go. Oh, okay. Well, uh, started things off with a bit of a bang here as Anor is turning Customize off. So, randomized exiles, masteries, and talismans won't even get to see what those things are in advance, just gonna get thrown straight into the action. So, I mean, what better way to warm up? Because what is a warm up, really, if not just throwing yourself straight into the chaos, right? Technically, could still do an arena, could still do a song, but otherwise, we've basically accounted for everything else here. Not seeing anything though, so I suppose we'll just go with this. See what we end up with. Good evening, exiles. Welcome to the pit of Melief. Here you may step closer to achieving freedom. Try not to let the pressure get to you. Nightwings, stand ready. The 
Oh, okay. An ore with two worms and an imp. Failure with two crones and a worm. Both players with ash and coal. Anora has stunning claim. The worm salute. She tested to see if she had it, and well, of course, it immediately activated in that case. But Failer is the one getting us started with a 25 damage plunge. Well, actually, that doesn't tell us anything, because they both had exactly the same amount of starting pyre life. Let's see what else we can learn. There's another stunning claim. Is that the same worm Anor did it with before, or does she have two worms for that? I think that might have been the same worm. Tizo for Anor. Back to Gilman. Okay, uh, at this point, I think it's pretty clear she does have two worms with it. Although, I think she accidentally made Failure the only one able to move for a minute there, which is, well, exactly the opposite of what you'd usually want to do with the stunning claim, although did not lead to a score on either end there. Anor moving in. In fact, everyone down on Failure's side, so plenty of time for Anor to charge up a 15 damage worm throw. One worm down, but the second worm... Whoa! Well, that was interesting. Okay, and Or seems to have the Imp Salute as well. And with that Imp, able to banish Failure's Crone before it was able to make it all the way through. Gilman, a little bit of an opening, but Failure back into position. Okay, there's the stunning claim, and there's the timing that Nora was looking for. Was that more than 15? Thought that might have said a little bit more than 15. I thought I might have seen 18 on that throw. So there's a chance that Nor has extra damage of some variety on one of those worms. Of course, we know both players had the Ash and Coal for the extra starter in Pyre Life, but I did not catch specifically which Exile on either side had that. But it does mean that we know of one of the Talismans. Of course, it doesn't really matter who has it. It just means that that character does not have any other talisman that is a more active effect. A series of banishments right in front of Anora's Pyre. Anora is the one to emerge, though, and she is the one to score here. Oh, is that a plunge for eight? Did she have more Pyre life? I suppose she did. That might have been a stubborn flame, but wouldn't it have told us stubborn flame? And if it was stubborn flame, that meant there's some other math taking place here. A little bit confusing. We'll have to take a closer look at that one. Okay, the stunning claim, well, it, it slows everyone. Stops everyone. But no one was uh, coming back from banishment, so it's not as if anyone was getting exclusive right to move. But an ore plunges for 15 here, so that worm, at least, has the standard amount of damage. But of course, an ore deals 15, Failure deals 30. That is a trade that Failure will take any time. Has an opening here, goes for the throw, lands for 14. And as Failer has more damage per score potential than Anor, Anor needs to rack up a few scores in succession here to keep pace. Okay, there does of course have a worm himself, but both those crones have considerably more damage than Anor's team has. Deluge. Trying to find a way through, but can't get it on that occasion. And both worms down for Anor here. Just trying to stall long enough for them to start coming back, and well, the Imp is pretty good at doing that. Now both worms back. One on either side, and Anor... Plunges for 15 from that worm as well. I think we've now seen both of Anor's worms plunge. So if one of them has extra damage, it is certainly not a uh, generic across the board damage. It is not plunging specific damage. As Failer plunges for 30, but that's what I was talking about before. Failer is getting much more damage per score, and that has started to add up quite a bit here. Nor will plunge for 15, but she at this point certainly needs several scores in a row. It's one more score potentially all that Failer would need. As Failer keeps one of his exiles right on top of the Nor's Pyre. Oh, and Failer counters the stunning claim with a stunning claim of his own! Oh. 
Big banishments for Anor. And now no one to stop Tizo from charging up a 15 damage throw. It's a little scary there for Anor. Failure with a well-timed counter-stunning claim, but Anor able to fend it off. But here is Failure! And there is the winning score. The fate prevails. GG. Confidently thwarted. Well played, you two. Thus end this night's proceedings. That's what I was thinking. That it might have been the throw specifically. And the, when the one that did score for eight was, was a throw? Okay. But then I thought initially that I might have seen... I think it was via a throw where it looked for a second like you had charged it up all the way to 18. So maybe one of those worms had extra throwing damage specifically, but then we just never saw it later on. But I don't know. It was quick. It was hard to catch. But anyways, we'll head back to our default settings, unless of course there's anything in particular that you guys would like us to do for this next one. If so, let us know. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's the nature of the customize off matches. Sometimes you don't figure everything out. Sometimes you do, but only at the very end, and you miss out on maximizing the potential of some of your masteries or talismans. Okay, well, Lenore is going to choose Exiles for this next one. Mom material? Okay, so whichever characters people think would be the most suitable mothers, is that the idea? Well, what with Mother's Day being on Sunday every year, it's definitely something we've done in the past. It's definitely not the first time we've had something like this. Okay, so we do have an Exiles request. We could, of course, pair that with any of a number of other things if people are interested in adding anything to the equation. Otherwise, we could just go with Anor's Exiles request there. but not immediately seeing anything else. So maybe we'll just run with that. So who are the best moms? Or have the best mom <laughs> potential? Mom material? The most motherly, however you want to phrase it. Who shall conduct the rites? Is this in rank order here? Is the first exile supposed to be number one first choice? Yes, okay. So Anor goes Jodariel. A little bit, a little bit tough, a little strict. Some tough love, but I get where you're coming from. Failer agrees. Both players also take a ring. Okay, so that I feel like might have been the most obvious choice. But from there, might get a little bit trickier. There aren't that many characters to choose from. Or debating who mom number two ought to be. Ultimately settles on Snadra, and you know, if you put aside the whole hired assassin thing, then yeah, maybe.
Okay, but Failer disagrees. He says Bertrude is the number two option. Alright, although perhaps the players were not all that far apart in that regard, as Bertrude may not have been number two, but she is number three for an ore. few characters that we know little to nothing about, and a few others that may feel like obvious, not so great choices. That does make the third selection a little difficult. Ultimately, Failer settles for Pamatha, so we'll have to see whose decision, whose choice was right. I mean, they are very similar teams, of course. Key difference being Pamatha versus Snadra, and then a slightly different order on Bertrude. But, of course, whoever emerges victorious from this right will be the person who is deemed to have chosen correctly. So we see both players with their speedy uh, ring demons the temporary infinite stamina at the beginning of the round, allowing them to speed forward with ferocious, ferocious intention. And that failure with the harp salute to use the speed of the harp to then switch places with the demon, set it up for a bigger damage plunge. Now Anor pops in with Snadra, good for 20. Did she take the leech on Snadra? I don't recall. Well, she is at full health. Or at least was at full health until this 30 damage plunge from Failure's Jodariel. Jody with the speed. And on attempt number two, able to make it in for a 30 damage plunge. Failure's turn to speed ahead, although he's stopped. Now Pamatha. Switches into Bertrude. Bertrude's throw is quick, but it's a little bit off the mark. Got the rebound, but only to be banished soon thereafter. Anora's Bertrude slithers away, gets pushed away, and banished. Jody, for failure. Does just enough to avoid Snadra and make it in for another 30. There's no Jody for failure in this round, though, and here is Jody for Anor. Has been... Very demon-centric for both players thus far. Bertrude switches in. The throw does have enough on it. That's also 30 damage for Failer. Jody versus Jody. Failer wins out. Only to be soon thereafter banished by Snadra. Pamitha switches to Bertrude. Bertrude's throw off the mark. Gets the rebound, quickly throws again. That's the full 30 damage, and that means Anor is dropped down to just 15 Pyre Life, one score. Potentially all that Failer would need here. Any of his exiles would have enough damage. But it's Anor in possession. Failer recovers quickly, though, and breaks out. His Crone Salute transforms all of Anor's exiles into defenseless Howlers. And there's nothing she can do. GG. Well played, you two. Thus end this night's proceedings. All right, well, let's head on back. Until the next round. And let us know, chat, if there's anything you would like us to do for the next one. Otherwise, of course, if no one has anything in particular in mind, then we can always have the players take whatever teams they'd like. That's always an option. But up to you.
Not immediately seeing anything, though. So unless anyone has any last-minute ideas here, perhaps we will leave this one up to the players to choose. So let's get going. The Nightwings versus the Fate. Welcome. All right, so this is the first one Who shall conduct the rites? in which it is entirely up to the players. Last one, of course, was a matter of who were the best uh, motherly figures. Today. This time it is a quick throwing stowaway who will lead things off for Anor. Did not see any stowaways in the previous match. We did see a few Bertrudes, though. I believe, at least on Failure's end, it was a quick-throwing Bertrude last time round. This time, though, opts for Prayer Beads to go in more of the plunging route. Does still have that Chrome Sloop, so saw how effective that can be in the previous match. Renor also goes with another power-casting Nomad, though in this case, it's Headwind instead of Snadra. Uh, heads up, Failure, you have the Hangover effect. There you go. So Failure goes Titan Tooth on a full left side, saluting Tamitha. She will stun anyone that she flies into. So Nor goes with the same setup with Pamitha. And they're lined up against each other. Fitting. Failure will finish things off with a web Lanthorn Raji. Ooh, and there is that quick teleporting stowaway, but she is banished. As was Bertrude in that initial exchange. Failure looking to banish the last of Anor's exiles, although the stowaway does return here. And now she's the only one left. So plenty of time for her to throw it in for 20. Failure, first to the orb and first to plunge. He'll go in for 30. Stowaway banished. Bertrude banished. War of the Harps, which Pamitha wins for Anor. Titan Tooth also stuns Failure, only had that one exile. So time for Anor to throw this one in for 20. Failure. Oh, uses his Crone Sloop, but Nor still has possession here. Failure wins it back. Anor does have a defender back now, though. Failure can only use that salute once. Oh, wait, what? Did Anor just throw that orb to Failure's imp that was on top of Anor's pyre? Failure instantly caught the orb and plunged in one motion. I think that's what just happened. Anor basically passed the orb to Failure so that he could score. Which presumably was not the intention. I'm guessing Anor was going for the Ninja Savage strats, but Failure was uh, in position to not only slow, but totally reverse that maneuver. As Failure follows that one up with a 20 damage plunge here. Failure intercepts this time, though of course this time he's not standing on top of Anor's pyre. Still has some ground to cover and Bertrude unable to do so because she got shoulder smashed by Hedwin. Anor Titan Tooth stuns Raji, though Raji recovers just in time. Bertrude, power casted away. Hedwin taken out now though, as is Bertrude and that leaves Pamitha as the only one here at the moment. Just enough time to charge up that 20 damage throw. Still away. Threads the needle with that throw, and now suddenly one score all that Anor might need here. Whereas Failure likely still needing two. And there it is. The Nightwings prevail. 
GG. The right is done. Well played, you two. And now let's head on back. Until the stars align. So let us know, chat, if there's anything you'd like to see for the next one. I'm not sure if we had seen anything quite like what we saw with that Tizo or Raji score during that match. Was uh, a little unexpected. Oh. 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 It's boat time, baby! Let's get going. Customize off as well. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. So randomized exiles, masteries, talismans will be on the boat. And thrash back. Oh, man. To, to what do we owe the pleasure? There are a few combos. There are no combos, one might argue, that can top this right here. Of course, depends a bit on what we end up seeing from the customize off. But that's, that's part of the fun. So let's get started. The night wings shall All right, for Nor, Demon, uh, Savage, and Crone, Failure. It's uh, it's Orlek, not just any team. Actually, it's Orlek for both players as Failure goes flying straight into the pyre for 25 damage. Here is a Nor's Orlek. Failure also has a Crone, and it is Orlek on a Nor's side, plunging for 25 now. Neither Orlek has prayer beads. We know that much. Failure's Orlek does not have any additional hope. He has the full 30 damage, or rather, full 30 second respawn time. But otherwise, those scores happen so quickly, we have not learned much. Stowaway, oh, has Black Hoof. Okay, well, that certainly is a major discovery for an ore. Not one she is thrilled to see, though. That makes the stowaway just about dead weight offensively, and the stowaway would usually be an offensive character. So that is not good news for her. Did see a Titan Tooth somewhere. I wasn't able to catch which character had it. Oh! Wait a second. Failure has Leech on Orlek. That's not bad. Nor checks for Brazen Manor on Orlek, and he banishes someone while he is in the Brazen Manor animation. How utterly brazen. Oh, Nor tried to use the crone boat magic, but see, it's just not as powerful as the demon boat magic. Nothing is as powerful as the demon boat magic. Good. Failure, trying to do some of that himself, although Orlek goes down for him, and of course, Orlek is down permanently, at least in this round, for Nor after he plunged. But Nor. After losing Orlek is in a very tricky spot here because the Stowaway can't pick up the orb. So Failure, oh, with Stubborn Flame active, only does 10 damage there. So if Failure is in the lead, all of his damage is reduced by 10. There's some boat magic. But Anor plunges with Orlek once again. And that means there's only one exile Anor has that can pick up the orb, and it's Bertrand. That makes it a little tricky, and it does make her awfully predictable for Failure. To defend against. Unless the stowaway ever so slowly juggles the orb closer to Failure's pyre, as it looked like she might have been starting to do, but it is Failure throwing it in for 15 with his curb. Now both Orlex are back, and an orb with just 25 pyre life means that is one Orlex plunge away from being game over. Ooh, and Orlek down on both sides. It'll be a while. Anor does get the stowaway back. Here comes Failure. But Anor has... Oh, wait, with Stubborn Flame. I forgot. Anor is able to hold on with five Pyre Life. Titan Tooth stuns Failure. Okay, it's Anor's Bertrude that has the Titan Tooth. That is certainly useful. And Bertrude does make it in for a 30 damage plunge, and we are tied at five Pyre life apiece. One score for either player surely would do it. Who will it be? Oh, Anor nearly makes her move right there. 
but loses Orlek in the process. And an Ors without Bertrude, she cannot pick up the orb right now. Failure finishes the job. GG. Nearly was extinguished there, but no. Well played. Never a dull moment with Orlek. <laughs> Never. Certainly not on the boat. Certainly not with customize off. We got a double Orlek customize off boat right. That's pretty sweet. Until the next right. All right, well, we'll reset ourselves here, but let us know if there's anything we would like to do for the next one. Hard to top that. Close match as well. Sudden death. Not seeing anything at the moment, though, and of course, if people don't have anything in particular in mind, we can just have the players take whatever they want for this next one. So maybe we'll opt for that. The Night Wings shall take on the fate. Welcome. Okay, so up to you. Who shall conduct the rites? You may take whatever team you'd like here. So Nor goes back to the quick throwing ninja stowaway. Failure doing the same with Almer. for a speedy saluting Bertrude. Taylor takes Titan Tooth on Ignarius for the stuns. Norco's Web Lanthorn on Panatha. Very strong talisman, of course, but typically we see it on, well, imps. As Failer demonstrates here with Raji, did also take the imp salute as a potential counter to Anora's Crone salute, which she does activate, except there is failure in imp form. He was ready. And Or can only do that prone salute once. There is still one howler on failure's side, but failure is back in possession. And Or vanished. And failure able to be the one who scores, bouncing back well from that crone salute. I 
Faylor with now a relatively dangerous portal, although Anora in possession and Faylor defenseless. So that portal will now go away, of course. As both players trying to get the timing right on that Savage salute, because whoever shows up second is actually the one who will end up with the orb in all likelihood, as they will banish whoever arrived first. But of course, it turns into a reverse psychology game. Whoa, big banishments from the stowaway. And after all of Failer's team is gone, plenty of time for her to throw that in. And she follows up with another 20 damage here. That time, the savages both banish each other. Gertrude, for an or. Or to the Zoe. Almer for Failer. Gets the throw off just in time. Once again, the savages cancel each other out. Oh, and Ignarius, just barely, able to avoid banishment and able to make it in for 30 damage on that plunge. Now, he's gone for this round, but once Iggy returns, he will have enough damage. But Anor throws this one in for 20. Now, does Failer force the issue with Iggy, or will he settle for a 20 damage throw from Almer? Now, anyone could do it for Failer. It's Almer. He's blocked. He gets it back, but now banished. Still away for an ore. Throws that one in. Failure now down to 35, and Nor likely needing two scores in that case. Iggy, her failure. Has the Titan Tooth, stuns, and then follows up for the banishment on one of Anor's characters, but gets the rebound. And then gets the winning plunge. Their pyre burns whilst that of their adversaries is but ash. GG. The right is complete. Well played, you two. Now let's head on back. Until the stars align. And let us know if there's anything we would like to see for the next one. That one was entirely teams of the players choosing. We can, of course, go back to doing more of that. If there is not anything in particular that you guys are looking for for this one. Doesn't seem like it. So in that case, maybe we jump straight back in. Oh. The night wings I hear the imps. We're at the Isle of Kalimer. And with Who the Isle of Kalimer, the right. there is that temptation. You only have three masteries at the moment. For what it's worth. You can check the scouting report, but I'm pretty sure Anor only took three masteries on that imp. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, okay, how do we wish to proceed? Do we want to reset Isle of Kalimer and Anor can take uh, four masteries? I mean, we, ha we have to lock in Isle of Kalimer at this point. Wings shall now face the fate. Welcome. All right, we are at the Isle of Kalimer. My goodness, it appears as though Anor may be considering taking Tizo. Imagine that. I totally did not see that coming.
Sailor goes for a Web Lanthorn Super Portal Raji. So both players starting off with an imp. Is that a sign of more imps to come? Or merely a coincidence? The imp map. Well, Anor goes for a speedy messenger imp. So that's imp number two for her. Okay, there goes Titan Tooth on Messenger Imp. Also, notably, some players taking extra damage on those imps, making them a little more of a threat offensively. That's what we see Anor do here with Titan Tooth on Raji. So, Anor is all in on the imps. Failure takes Speedy Tizo, so so is he. So it is a triple imp, well, really, six imp showdown on the Isle of Kalimer. Titan Tooth stuns Failure and gives Anor enough time to charge up a full 25 damage imp throw, as we were saying earlier. We saw a lot of players take imps with the extra 10 damage. So not 15, but as Failure shows right here, 25 per score. Wall of imps in the middle here. Looks like it is slowing failure perhaps a little bit more than a nor. Nor through the portal. Has the infinite stamina. Gets close. Oh, Titan Tooth stuns once again. And nor getting a lot of value out of that already. Imps once again blocking the middle a bit. Nor sets up a dangerous portal. And Failure, gone, gets Raji back just in time. Anor, though, causing some trouble with the help of that portal that is right next to Failure's pyre. Failure, though, makes it all the way through here, plunging for 25 and deleting Anor's portal in the process. Neither player wants the orb. Anor does eventually take it. Once again, stuns with the Titan Tooth, although Failer gets an exile back from Banishment just in time, but that exile is Titan Tooth stunned. This is all Titan Tooth for an orb. Failer. Infinite stamina. Ooh, loses two of his imps though. Now all up to Messenger Imp here. Now it's Failer doing the Titan Tooth stuns, though. The orb sails forth Has to cut that throw ever so slightly short. 23 damage. That is significant. Because it means Anor can finish this with one score. Failer would still need two. That is, assuming full damage scores. And there it is! The night GG! Well played, you two. So close. The right is ended. An imp showdown on the Isle of Kalimer. As it ought to be. Until the stars align.
All right, so let us know if there's anything we'd like to see for the next one. Anor, O, has an idea, it seems. Evaluate. Oh, how are the imps? Was that last week when Phaler was bad-mouthing every single class in the game? Or was that the week before? <laughs> it's a little hard when imps are on both the winning and the losing side, and <laughs> it's all imps. Imp simultaneously good and bad. That's why sometimes it's uh, not quite that straightforward. All right, well, <laughs> well, let us know if there is anything that we would like to see for the next one. Otherwise, we'll just leave it up to the players to take whatever they'd like, which was the case for that all imp showdown. It was spontaneous. Not immediately seeing any requests though, so perhaps we'll leave this up to the players unless anyone has any last minute ideas here, but seeing none, let's get started. The Night Wings versus the Fate. All right, this might be our first time at the Cairn today. Welcome. Shall conduct the rites. Okay, and Anor says she's up for maybe a couple more, so heads up if there is anyone in chat who is interested in getting in. We will likely be looking to get someone new in soon to take Anor's place, so whatever preparations you need to make before jumping in, perhaps make those now, as Anor will swap out relatively soon. Nor goes with a canned singularity on Tizo. Interesting. Shaler answers with an exploding deluge. Now with Sacred Bond on a Mooncrest headwind, so she can bring back teammates by stepping on their portraits. Ignarius. Taylor goes for the meta, quick throwing Ignarius. Do the same with Jodariel. And Faither will finish with a web lanthorn super portal, Raji. Alright, so here we go. Begin. Implosion from Deluge. Explosion from Tizo. Banishment from that Celestial Spike, setting up Ignarius' 30 damage plunge for Failure. It does mean, however, no Ignarius now in this round. And here are the Can Singularity shenanigans, as Failure is defenseless for the moment. Let's see if Nor has enough time with Jody. She does. And because that was a throw, Anor remains at full strength here. Tizo down, but I'm afraid that may have all been part of Anor's plan here. 
as now Jody goes through the portal, sets off the can Singularity, and sets up that 30 damage throw. And there is Tizo once again, setting up the same combo. However, Failer did have, oh, the stunning claim on Deluge. Wasn't quite quick enough to stop Jodariel, but you could see the idea that Failer had there. It nearly worked. Edwin, trying to bring back Tizo, but can't, oh, except it happens there. It happens here as well. Nora, however, trying to get away from her pyre because now everyone is banished and Failer has an opportunity to throw this one in for 30. One score, potentially all that Anor would need here as Failer has just 10 Pyre life. But after that plunge, it is now possible for Failer to finish this one with one score as well, though in his case, it would need to be Ignarius. Nobody else would have enough damage. Anor brings back the teammates. Failer gets rid of Headwind, but the Mooncrest will bring him back quickly. Here's Jody making her move with a Celestial Spike. She's banished. There he is the Can See Larry, but Failer did just enough to fight it off. But Anor gets the orb back here. Headwind hopscotching, but didn't hopscotch quite hard enough. More Can Singularity. It's Jody, however. Gets the throw off in time to take the win. GG. Perhaps a stroke of fortune ought to be thanked. Well played, you two. The right is complete. All right, and let's head on back. Until the next right. It sounded like Anor may only be looking to do one or two more here. So, if there is anything else we would like to see between Anor and Failer, this might be one of, if not our last chance, to make that happen. And. Similarly, if there is anyone who would like to get in, we are looking for someone to take Anor's place in the relatively near future. As for this match, though, is there anything in particular that we would like to see? Not looking like it at the moment. So this one might just be up to the players. So let's get started. The night wings. Oh, is this our first time? Or did we start off? I think we might have started off Welcome. at the Pit of Malith today. Shall conduct the rites. But no requests, so it is up to the players here. They may take whatever they'd like. So for Nor, she'll go Ninja Stowaway. Okay, they will do the same thing, just with Almer. As we've said many times before, whenever you have the double savage lead with the salute, it's always that question of what is the timing for that salute? That has big implications for who is going to not only possess the orb, but who is going to be down one character. Someone is likely to get banished in that exchange as an orb takes savage number two with, I believe that was a range throwing Almer. Failure does not match. He goes instead with a Titan Tooth Ignarius. Perhaps Anor may have had plans of going Triple Savage, but maybe seeing Failure not following up with the same type of team. She instead opts for, I think that was Titan Tooth on Pamitha. So both players with the ability to stun. And 
Web Landorn Raji is Failure's final choice. Here is that opening exchange. You see both players hesitated a little bit before they used that Savage Loot. Oh, and Failure gets a throw off, but it is just short of hitting the mark. Stowaway, back at it for Anor, but her throw is intercepted. Iggy speeds through. He'll plunge for 30. He's now gone for this round, and there is that exchange several times over at that. Raji for Failure, stalling a little bit here, waiting until Almer returns, although Anor is not waiting, Anor is plunging. Here is Almer, though. This time, throwing it in once again for 20 for Failure. This time, both the Savages take each other out. Titan Tooth. Both players stunned, however, Anor able to switch out of it. That is the biggest ping pong I think we've ever seen. The biggest pinball. How many times did that bounce back and forth? Amatha here for an or. Looking to bounce off the wall, gain some extra speed, has that Titan Tooth for the stun. But it seemed like Anor was uh, unsure for a moment what she wanted to do. Goes for the off the wall throw, even when uncontested. Extra style points. This time throws it straight in for 20. Failure, potentially still just needing one more score. Oh, and there is a little bit of extra speed that Anor built up by bouncing off the wall. Anor building some momentum. But the margin for error is small. <laughs> As Failure tries to go off the wall and decides, you know what? Let's keep it simple. The fate prevail. But the scribes themselves surely have taken note. Well played, you two. GG. The right is ended. All right, and let's head on back. Until the stars align. And it sounded like Anor might have wanted to swap out right around now. I don't know if you want to go for one more Anor, or if this is the right place to call it a night. Could go for one more? Okay. No worries then. Let us know if there is anything we would like to see for what seems to definitively be the final matchup between Anor and Failure for today. And let us know if there is anyone who would like to take Anor's place, because it sounds like this one definitely will be her last one of the night. I'm not seeing anything else at the moment. It's okay. Anor does come in with the customized off. So randomized exiles, masteries, talismans, won't even get to see what those things are in advance. We had good luck with a customize off request that we did earlier today on the boat where we saw both players get Orlek. I don't know if we can, if we can top that. We'd have to get, well, not that it's impossible to beat a boat right, but if we were trying to do something similar, of course, we'd not only have to get demons from the customize off, we'd also need to get a random boat stage as well. That's, that's a lot of things that would need to roll in a very specific way. But there are other ways to make things interesting. So let's see what we end up with this time. The night wings. Okay, well it's Failure's home arena for what it's worth. There is a demon on Anora's side, as well as a sap and a cur. Failure has imp, worm, and harp. See what else we can figure out about these teams here. Mastery and talisman-wise. Vengeful Vow on... I assume that... Well, I don't know who that was, because everyone went down in the same area. Failure... Oh, throws that in actually for slightly less than his maximum. I saw Blackheart on Dalbert. Dalbert has Blackheart. So that's telling. Of course, there had to be at least one Cursed Talisman. Blackheart again. He has that infinite stamina. And Anor makes good use of it there. And we know she has at least the first mastery on the right side. And did we see, what, a double jump? So she's at least the first mastery on the left side as well. 
Vengeful Val might be on Jody. Super portals from Tizo, I believe, on Failure's end. Manly. And now Jody. Does not seem to have Celestial Spike. Confirmation there. She does have the extra uh, starting Pyro Life, though, I believe, is where that came from. Okay, 15 damage on that Warm Plunge from Failure. No prayer beads on Lady River. Dalbert blocks. Soxiana gets that infinite stamina, and that helps her get in here, plunging for 20. But now she's gone for this round. Lady River down, Failure in fact defenseless for the moment. And Orm moving in with, whoa, is that a quick throwing manly? That looked awfully quick to me. Saps do not throw that fast. Shooting star on Failure's Worm. It's interesting, the banishing throws talisman on a throw that is very lofted into the air, which makes it relatively easy to dodge it, you would think, but does make the opposing player want to uh, get out of the way, which could still be usable for that reason, as Zoxiana plunges for 20 for failure. There is that throw. Dalbert blocks and now banished. Manly tries to shield off, but then just blinks away from that imp cast. We know Manly seems to have a very threatening throw. So Anor just trying to get into throwing range, perhaps. Unable to do so on that occasion, though. Trying to be mindful of Failure's uh, portal. Anor, however, had one of her her characters, Dalbert, in uh, imp form, so was unable to defend with that Howler. Made a little more space for Failure to work with. Dalbert, however, in his infinite stamina form this time round, well, his usual curve form with infinite stamina, helps him get in once again. Jody. Goes down here. Oh, and Anor defenseless at the moment. Plenty of time for failure. He can afford to go for the throw. Gets the full 20 damage out of that, and that means one more score, potentially all that failure would need here. Anor does, of course, have a sap. It's always the chance of an unexpected right light. Although we know of at least one of Anor, in fact, at least two of Anor's talismans, possibly all three. So I don't think we have any right lights on Anor's end, at least. Mostly a matter of does she have rekindling from one of Manly's masters. So here is Manly. That is definitely quick throw. That is way faster than the usual sap throw. Jody. Taken out here. Soxiana for failure. Makes it in. There is rekindling. So Nor has 10 Pyre Life, but now we know one more score likely would be all that failure needs. Nor likely needs two. Don't think she has a way to get more than that. Whoa! The orb, I suppose, was close enough to failure's pyre. Anor could, in one fell swoop, pick up the orb and plunge. So now one score for either player would do the trick, although Anor is without Jodariel. So numbers advantage to Failure in that way. Of course, Anor has that risk of Dalbert at any point in time could come back in Howler form, and that could be the deciding factor. Here he is now. He's banished. See what form he takes when he returns. As Manly moves in, he's banished. Okay, he is in his usual Kerr form. That looks like a... Particularly big cast as Failure loops around the defender and in for the winning plunge. GG. Although their adversaries put up quite an effort. Well played, you two. The right is done. All right. So let's head on back. Until the next right. And Anora was saying she's looking to swap out. So if there is anyone who would like to take her place. Let us know. How's it going, Irotor? You're welcome to take that spot, if you would like.
or anyone else for that matter, just let us know. In the meantime, we'll just turn the customize back on. So is there anyone who would like, and it, I assume, Honor, it sounded like it was a pretty definitive uh, stance that you wanted to swap out after this one. Not that I'm trying to force you to do it, but I also don't want to feel like I'm forcing you to stay in either. Well, thanks for stopping by, Honor. Good to have you, as always. does mean we're looking for someone else to take her place. Do we have any takers? Otherwise, I mean, I can always jump in for a little bit, but of course I would typically prefer to get people in from chat if there is anyone who is interested in playing a few matches here. Or we could, <laughs> or we could set up failure against the bots! Not seeing anyone else at the moment who is volunteering to jump in, so I take that to mean my services may be required. One moment. The noble lids. Well, <laughs> I don't know if I'd go that far. Okay. Let me just see. Looks like... Oh, my player one? Oh, I guess Anor was player one, so that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. For some reason, I assumed I was going to be player two. Okay. I'll stick in for a couple more, and then I want to go as well. Okay. A couple things. Gotcha. All right. So, yeah, definitely let us know if there's anyone in chat would like to get in because if not then if it's just me and failure and no one will replace either of us then we might wrap things up on the early side in that case but let us know and likewise let us know if there's anything you'd like to see for this upcoming match failure has been going for a while but uh it's my first one i don't care throw whatever you want at us i don't need a warm-up Not seeing anything at the moment, though. So maybe we'll just get this next one started. Oh, wait, hold on. There's always time for that. There's always time for that. There we go. Okay, that's more like it. Customize off it is. Thank you, Anor. Let's see what we end up with this time. Oh, it's Isle of Kalimer. The, the best warm-up, exactly. Let's see, I have... Oh! Welcome. Failure. Gotcha. <laughs> Failure! <laughs> no! <laughs> Failure was messed around with the customize button. I had to fake him out that time, just in case he was about to do it again. Oh, and I didn't lock in the Isle of Kaelor. So uh, apparently we're, we're at a different arena now. It's Demon, Crone, Sap for me, Harp, Worm, and Nomad? No, Savage for Phelan. Okay. Uh, I will admit I got both those banishments while I was not looking at my character because I was looking at who Phelan's characters were. On the bottom right corner. So that was a 100% chance. The deluge is banished. Oh, where'd my- Oh, my- <laughs> I was like, what, what happened to my sapling? <laughs> oh, you almost, you almost helped me get in there. Okay, apparently I have Numbing Gust. This is good to know. It might mean that I have no rekindling, though. Oh. 
No, that was supposed to knock you back far enough that wasn't gonna work anymore. No, I thought I had it lined up. I thought I had it. Can't say I'm the most experienced when it comes to that. Also, I was totally about to try to banish you, which was definitely not gonna work. No, don't do that. Oh, was that? I had 130 power left, not 135, so I guess that was an Ashen Coal, and I did not really notice that, but okay. That is good to know. Oh, Failure has Can Singularity, I am now realizing. I didn't catch which Exile specifically had it, but one of them absolutely does. Well, obviously I wasn't going to walk straight into that. Oh, <laughs> wonderful, I have Vital Pounce, my favorite. <laughs> my favorite. No, I was I was gonna use that character. Oh. <laughs> I almost walked straight into that. No, not the can singularity either. A nearly negligible effort. Thank you, hockey puck. Oh, that was never gonna work. Excuse me, I would like to place a sapling here. Please don't do that. If I ask you nicely, you have to listen. That's how that works, right? Glorious. The fate's pyre now burns relatively brighter. Hello there. I'm totally gonna jump, right? I'm totally about to jump. I'm totally about to, I told you I was gonna jump. Oh, uh, oh no, no! <laughs> Not the can singularity. It's, uh, it's Deluge, isn't it? I think it's Deluge who has it. No! A weak attempt, and yet it hit the mark. Yes. Which way am I going? Which way am I going, huh? Huh? That way is the answer. Except I'm not! Oh, I had that one, man. That seemed like an extra long cast. I wonder if I have the legendary talisman. No law against throwing in the orb. There we go. Vital Pounce! Absolutely the difference maker there. Absolutely not. No, it made no difference whatsoever. Question. What is the worst mastery in the game, and why is it not Vital Pounce? No, it is. It is. It is Vital Pounce. Oh, you have false step! You actually, you almost have the setup. Oh, also I plunged with, with Ufmilda. I'm now realizing, which is kind of unfortunate. No, don't do that. Don't dodge me. The fate has gained an edge for now. No, don't do that either. Good. I'm so slow. Don't you valiant return on me. Check for this while we're at it. 
Oh, well, that's interesting. That's interesting. No! He has the, uh, what is it? Is it the web feed that slows me down? I'm slowed down when I'm by the stowaway. And that was the difference, actually, on that occasion between scoring and not scoring. Now he knows! Uh-oh. Um, this is a problem. This is kind of a problem. <laughs> GG. GG. Well played. You could say they managed to avoid defeat. The ceremony is What's up, Core? How's it going? Alright, well, let's head on back. Until the stars align. Failure was saying he's looking to swap out relatively soon, so if there is anyone who is interested in getting in here, and I am open to swapping out as well if anyone else is interested, so uh, let us know in that case, because otherwise or we might wrap things up relatively soon if we don't have anyone else. But I'm assuming we're probably doing at least one more with us two. So if there is anything you'd like to see between us, then let us know. We can still make that happen. seeing anything request wise though so maybe we'll just head straight back in leave this one up to us oh hold on hold on it's a boat a wild boat appeared what do you do let's be honest who shall conduct there isn't really any choice to be made here it has to be this way. It's simply just and let, let's let's make a gentleman's agreement that we will not take Titan Tooth here. We are gentlemen here. Okay. Good to good to know. Just just to reaffirm that that is the case. Uh, in which case, though, what am I looking for? Uh, let's go... Let's go here. Let's do that. Mm-hmm. I went for the prayer beads. Failure went for the speedy Ignarius. I'll go... I mean, it has to be done. It does kind of have to be done. Take the speed on Oralek. Oralek. Alright, then we'll have Vizpaleth be the responsible demon and take either Web Lanthorn or, eh. Yeah, I guess Web Lanthorn. for the prayer beads on Orlek. So here we go, a proper Commence boat showdown. Into the adversary's now, I did not even mean to jump there, I'll be honest with you. Mm -hmm. 
Glorious. Glorious. That's what he's there to do! That is what the boat magic is for. Positively brutish. Positively brutish, indeed. Come on. Oh, I didn't get any extra air time. Hold on. Hold on. This is important. This is important. No, not quite. Extra air time. Whoa, my gosh. I dare say, indeed. That was interesting as well. Oh, I tried to pass that. I did not succeed. No! Don't do that! Back at full strength, though. The orb is taken. That'll do. Not quite in one fell swoop, but that'll do. Okay, then. <laughs> My demon was a little starstruck for that big jump. Oh. Wait, did you? Did you go down from jumping into the water? Because I was not over there. And I did not dodge that the way I'd hoped to dodge that. No. There it is, Orlek. No, Orlek! Just one more step and you would have had it. Back in Orlek's hands! Oh my gosh! Whoa, now there's some boat magic as well. Ooh. If only there was not a demon there. No, no, don't Celestial Spike me. That dodge was uh, was rather fortunate. Not really planned. Nope, nope, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, you still caught me. Just well, you still caught me on that one as well. No, I'm on my way. <laughs> oh, I needed the boat magic. I needed the boat. Oh, boat magic. There is Orlek for you. There's some more like boat magic. The fate have gained an edge for now. No, it was so close. It was so close. No, don't. Let's deal with me. And you still got that throw off. I did not, that is not the direction that I told my character to go in. Boat magic <laughs> giveth, and the boat magic taketh away. And that's <laughs> 31 is significant, because that means I am now on precisely one fire life. Come on, no, I need, I need the boat magic. I need the boat magic. Just, you just have to believe. All it takes is a little belief. No, I had it. No, it was there. It was there. <laughs> GG. GG. That was fantastic boat magic on both sides. Amazing. Well conducted victory it was. Thus end this proceedings. Man. And that's... All right, who's on next? <laughs> that is why we like playing demons on the boat. Until the next right. Looks like Failer is looking to swap out here, though. So let us know, is there anyone else 
who would like to get in here. We are looking for someone to, to take his place. Otherwise, I mean, if we had to end early, this would be quite early, but there are worst rights to end on. I'm just saying. If I'm really the last one, then I'll stick around for a liberation, right? But I'd rather have... I'd rather see if there's people still. Right. So let us know. Let us know if anyone else wants to get in. If, oh, okay, hold on. I wrote her says can play a few, but not too long. All right, well, no worries, I wrote her. That's fine. I'll get you in for a little bit. Just get you in for a bit here. GG's all. Have a good GG's, one. GG's, failure. Thanks for stopping by. Let's get I wrote her in for a bit. Core says he is not available today. No worries. Yeah, maybe we can just get it. At least a few more in today. Okay. Looks like I wrote her is player two. That checks out. Let me just update your information here. Take away the fate give you the withdrawn and now we should be good okay so this will be iroder's first match of the day so sounds like iroder can't stick around for too long no worries but uh as for whether that means we want to have a warm-up right or want to get straight into the action well that's up to you guys Not seeing anything initially here so maybe we'll just leave this one up to us keep it simple at least for now the fire hearts shall take on the withdrawn Welcome. okay Shall conduct so how do we follow up that previous right? I don't know. That is not an easy task. What if we do... Okay, I think I have an idea. What do I want to go for? Let's go you first. Take Snadra. Go... That. Maybe we'll take this. Take the Gold's Bracer. Sandra. As I order goes, Thorned Knot, Zoxiana. Okay, so I have Snadra first. I'm gonna put, uh, what order do I want? I guess I'll go. Palmus here. What do I want with Palmus? Maybe I'll go from here. It was not the usual sap setup that people take nowadays, but I am uh, not a frequent sap user. A little out of practice there. What talisman do I want? I mean, I could take even more rekindling this way, I suppose. Could go rank quarterback, Palmas, speedy throwing Palmas. Maybe we'll go speedy throwing Palmas. Beads Dalbert, or I wrote her, and uh, perhaps, perhaps you guys could see it coming. The full Beyonders team here. Go 
speedy throw would have been good on you as well, though. Uh, speed? Speed? I didn't take the speedy mastery, though, so it's not quite as effective. Uh, mm, could go range throws on you? Sure. We'll try... Wait. Hold on. One moment. Here's a thought. Not something that we often see people do. But what if we go... Ooh. Titan Tooth. Exile. On a crone. I don't know. We'll see. Speed. Side go Speedy Viz Paleth. Here we are. Now. The orb is up. No, don't switch out of that. In honor of the scribe. sneaks through. Oh, but Stubborn Flame is active because he took the extra starting fire life. Okay, this is not a good exchange. <laughs> I do not win that opener. What did I end up going with? Did I go uh, range throw? Well, <laughs> we may never know. That is also not the right button. Also, what noise did the voice just make there? Quite the close call there, no? Oh no, I took the Titan tooth. It was Titan tooth, not range throw. I remember now. Um, well, <laughs> I had committed already at that point. Nope, nope. That, I don't win that. Now go. Oh, that fell swoop is unfortunate as well. One stands that sapling, though, certainly helped. No, Snadra, you were supposed to hold on to that. Oh, that, oh, you almost pushed me in. Darn it. Also, uh, that wasn't going to work either way. I was not going to be able to place that directly on top of you. I was going to push you in at that rate. Oh, oh well, I guess when you don't have your uh, harp out, that's not a terrible thing to do. Stubborn Flame is getting value, don't get me wrong, but that's uh, perhaps indicative of how things are going otherwise, and that's not exactly the best jump I've ever seen. Well, but you can't quite end the ceremony just yet. Perhaps on this one you will, though. Get out of here. Hello there. No, no, I will not let you inch closer until you can banish me. Not cool. Also, I, well, I guess I didn't blink quickly enough. No. A blessing keeps the power. There's the ten rekindling. Everything's going fine. Don't worry about it. The orb has taken me. No. Stop that. Go, Snadra. And by that I mean go Palmas. Oh no, he has a quick throw. I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> He's actually an offensive sap. Oh, that's unfortunate timing. That's also unfortunate timing. <laughs> GG. Well played. Well, uh, as it turns out, I am terrible with that team. The scribes themselves stood by their side. The right is ended. All right. Well played. We'll head on back. Until the next right. But let us know if there is anything you'd like to see us go for for the next one. Otherwise, we could just go for whatever, but up to you if there's anything you'd like for us to set up this time around.
not immediately seeing anything though. So maybe we'll jump back into this one. And I know I heard her said you're not going to be able to stick around for long. So what are we looking at? Maybe two more matches? I'm not sure. Sure. Two more? Okay, so in that case, I guess this would be our penultimate right, meaning the last one in which we would take any requests before the liberation right. So I don't know if that changes anything, if there's anything people would like to see before the night is through. We have uh, checked off several big things already, though. So maybe people are fine with where we currently stand. In which case, let's get started. The okay, it's the book. Shall now face the withdrawn. Welcome. Okay. What would we like Who to shall do here? Conduct the rites? What would we like to do here? What if we go for... Maybe we do... This... With... What would we want? Possibly even that then this is a little experimental it's a little experimental side, I'm going to take this Paleth, I'm going to go probably there, and maybe here, I'll give you Web Lanthorn, Demon. I was trying not to take it, but apparently it's going to be one of those types of hey, matches. I have, um, need to say something before. <laughs> no, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. I did not. I did not say anything. You were well within your right to take it. Speedy Jody, last choice for I wrote her. No. 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 Stop that. Stop that. No, stop that. Stop that. Stop that! <laughs> you come back here, you cur! The withdrawn thus make their mark upon the flame. Now then. Uh, 
Come on. Come on, Iggy. There we go. A show of strength from the fate's opponent. Ah, I didn't really want to do that. In fact, it would have been very good if I had not done that. A deadly quarter Hello there. Oh, that's a Titan Tooth one. Okay, now I understand. Also, I totally thought I had, had controlled my other XL. Oh, the Titan Tooth again. That one almost got through. Into the adversary's flame. Okay. Let's see here. Well, oh, that's not really what I want. No! So close yet so far. Uh, you know, I actually did one there. No! Don't, no, don't, do, don't do that. That's also not who I wanted to pass it to. No. Now to the flame! Stay away. Stay. Get back. Get back now. Ooh, that was not going to knock people back, was it? No. No, I would, oh, I did get the orb. Okay, I was trying to banish you actually though. The thing. <laughs> that was, that was supposed to be a banishment setup. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, I was too slow for it though. I did not react quickly enough. That is also a bad sign. The orb engulfs their fire. Struggle all you like, Rita. Uh, also, for what it's worth, um, your harp just absolutely swore in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Your harp just swore in Spanish. Let's end this night's proceedings. All right. Well, anyways, <laughs> GG. That was uh, I kind of liked that. Uh, it was a setup that I had not really done before, but having a harp in the lead with the salute the and with the um, uh, what's the name of the exploding talisman? The uh, Vengeful Vow, where you deliberately run straight up, get the orb quickly, immediately swap out with the intention of then having your harp well, ser serve a dual purpose. It's a quick way to get the orb, and then also, after doing the switch, you now have an exile right next to your pyre who blows up if they get banished, and that is a, a nice little defensive backup plan in case of emergency. I kind of liked it. But uh, it seems as though, unless there is anyone else who can get in, I think, who is interested in getting in, that uh, we may be looking at our final rite of the night here, our uh, liberation rite. So let, let me know if there is anyone who is interested and available to jump in, but otherwise we will start setting up the liberation rite protocols. Which of course means... Alf Kilmer sermon intro will go withdrawn 
never to return. And no requests from chat for this one. We'll just both take our preferred teams to finish things off in style. So let's get going. I bid you welcome, exiles. Welcome to the fall of Solium. Here you may yet prove your worth. The stars themselves shall be your witnesses. Fireheart, stand prepared. The withdrawn, stand prepared. The right shall begin forthwith. All right, so as we were saying, this will be our final ride of the night, our liberation rites. No requests from chat for this one. Both of us will just take our preferred teams to finish things off in style. Pamitha. I'll go with the Titan Tooth Pamitha for my lead. The rotor goes oh, Prayer Beads, saluting Ulmer. And I'll take. Tizo here. He'll be my web lanthorn user. Tizo. Titan Tooth on Dalbert. I wrote her second choice. And then, of course, last but certainly not least. Most stylish man in the downside. Gareth. Our rotor will go Web Lanthorn Raji. And here we go. Our final ride of the night. Our liberation ride. I wrote her on the left. <laughs> that is not correct. Lids on the left, <laughs> representing the fire arts. I wrote her on the right, representing the withdrawn. Titan Tooth. I can't switch out of it. Boo hoo. <laughs> Lids is sad. Done on the black magic jump. Very devious. Very devious indeed. Nope, no, stop. You, you were supposed to let me banish you in that time. No good. Pass. It's too slow. That's more like it. That's a little more like it. Uh oh, <laughs> I was gonna pass it to him. What? Okay, that was very strange. That was not really where I wanted to jump. <laughs> but I ended up there nonetheless. Nope. 
Oh, so close for that one. Oh, thank you, Pamitha. Oh, almost made that work. Okay, well, one score either way, I think, is enough to do the job here. See who can get it. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> well maneuvered. Well maneuvered. GG. Well played. All right. Well, that was our final right of the night, our liberation right. Until the stars align. So thank you, everybody, who participated in the rights today, and thank you, everybody, who gave us the requests in chat as well. Yes, thanks, everyone. Awesome. I'm going to jump out of Discord, but I will catch you guys later. GG's, I wrote her. Now, let me just throw this screen on here. But as I was saying, that was our final right of the night, our liberation right. So thank you, everybody who participated in the rights, and thank you, everybody who gave us the requests in chat as well. This was, of course, Pyre Community Right Night. And if you're interested in getting more involved in multiplayer Pyre, then the best way to do so is by joining the Right Club Discord server, which you can do, if I spell it correctly, by clicking on that link right there. My name is Lids, I'm hosting these right nights, and my streaming schedule is Fridays, we're doing Mass Effect Andromeda multiplayer, Saturdays, Mass Effect 3 multiplayer, and then Sundays, Pyre multiplayer. And we did, of course, for those of you who didn't know, just see Hades 2 release in early access just a few days ago. So I very well may try to squeeze in a Hades 2 stream tomorrow. I'm working from home, so... You know, as soon as I'm done, I might just try to boot up the stream and go for a little while for that. Lids vids on YouTube as well, posting the VODs for all those streams, as well as a few other videos, namely our first few uh, Hades 2 videos. So if you're interested in checking that stuff out, you can there, as well as some Helldivers 2 stuff, too. Uh, if you haven't done so already, of course, you can also hit the follow button to get a notification point live. Also follow me on Twitter, at Lids vids. I post them on the live as well. But actually, the best place to stay up to date on all things Lids is by joining my Discord which you can do by clicking on that link right there. But that's going to be it for me for tonight. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the stream. And I'll catch you next time.